What's going on, my brothers and sisters? Good morning. I got up uh, pretty early um, this morning to work on my message uh, for Sunday, and then I just had another thought that I wanted to share with you guys, um, Psalm 63, all right? One thing that people need to understand about God, he has, you know, personality, he has character. Um, there have been many times, and you know, a lot of religious folks won't like this, but me and God have just laughed. You know, I, I've been in his uh, presence and he just you know did something in my life or maybe something happened at the church and in, in the spirit right because you have that you share uh the spirit of god the same spirit that raised christ from the dead is living in you and so when you have the spirit of god in you and you have relationship with god you know you can you can feel these things i've often told people one of my you know secret prayers is you know lord just please smile on me Show me what I got to do for you to be happy with me. Show me what I got to do for you to look down at me and say, man, that's, you know, he got it right. That I, I just want to please, you know, um, my father. And so, you know, a lot of people, the Bible says God is a jealous God. He has emotions. He has character. So he responds to certain things. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Right. So one thing just to, you know, challenge your, your thinking a little bit, open your mind a little bit. Faith, right? If I didn't have faith in God, um, I wouldn't wake up early in the morning to seek him. If I didn't believe that something was going to happen or something was going to change or something was going to shift or that he wasn't going to meet me early this morning, I would still be in the bed. But I push past my flesh and I step out and I say, you know what? I know that God's going to meet me, you know, at this time in the morning. And so, you got to understand that God is pleased with faith. He He's looking down when David stepped up to Goliath and Peter stepped off the boat. And that makes him smile because really what you're saying is, you know, I, I, I trust you, God. I, I believe you. I believe your word. And so, you know, it's just like, you know, us in our relationships. I want my wife to look at me and I want her to trust me. I want my children to look at me and trust me. Know that your dad got you. Know that your dad is going to provide for you. Know that your dad is going to protect you. It makes me feel good to know that my daughters, they trust their dad. And then my sons, you know, they know, man, daddy got me. And it's the same thing when, you know, God sees us. And so Psalm 63, oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy love and kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me, but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be portions for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. It says the king. Look at that. Boom. Right there. I got the, I got the little crown. I got a big old head right there. This crown can't fit me. This is probably like for my son. But it says the king. Uh, shall rejoice in God. So he's rejoicing. The king, he, the king is blessed. The king should sleep in. The king got a lot of money. The king got a lot of wives. The king got, he's living the good life. But you know what? He says, I'm going to get up early in the morning. I want to rejoice, right? And so there's so much that we can, we can break down in just this little part, right? Early will I seek thee. It hits different. There's some downloads that God's going to give you, right? He's going to just drop that on your mind. They just come early in the morning. Anybody will tell you it's just different when you get up and you seek God in the morning. You pray in the morning. You spend time in the morning. You get out of the bed early because I don't know. God just he likes that. He says, man, I know you. You're sacrificing some sleep. I know you could still be in the bed, but you got up to spend some time with me. That, that means something. So, boom, I'm going to give you this, this download. 
I'm gonna drop this blessing on your life. I'm gonna let, let me tell you something. You know, when it's talking about, I think um, Abraham being a friend of God, that's possible to be a friend of God. There's some people that they serve God, they're going to heaven, but there's other people they find that deeper in, uh, intimacy and that relationship with God because they put the time in to have an actual relationship with Him, and their relationship goes beyond. It's just it's just like in the world. People got to understand God created the concepts of relationship. So there's levels of relationship with God. There's levels of intimacy with God. So with the more intimacy and the more um, relationship you have, the more revelation, knowledge, blessings, favor, anointing, all kinds of things that you're going to have. All right. So watch this. My soul thirst is for thee. That, that deep, deep place in me, the deepest place in me is just crying out for what? Not for money, not for a new car, but just for, for you, God, I'm just, my soul is just longing for you, all right, to see thy power and thy glory, once again, it's not, it's not because I need God to do something for me, I just, I just want to feel your power and glory come down, when, when I feel the presence of God, that's enough, when, when I feel that come, man, I, it's boom, I just feel like, man, I feel so blessed, I feel like the king, I feel, I just feel amazing, just because the presence of God just came down, and it's with me in this office or it's with me in, in firehouse or whatever. That That's all I want is to just feel your power and glory. So as have I seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee, right? It's like, it's just, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You, you just taste and it's just, oh, my, my lips, I just got to praise you because your love and kindness, the way that you love me, the way that you've uh, kept me, the way that you held me when I was down and out, the way that you encouraged me, the way that you was there for me when nobody else was there, thy love and kindness is better than living life. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I gotta, I gotta praise you today. I gotta praise you right now, okay? I'm gonna lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied. That deep place in me is going to be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. Not oh, hallelujah. No, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm joyful when I remember thee upon my bed. So I'm in bed. And you say, I'm just, I'm just thinking about you. You know how you get in that relationship and, you know, uh, you're not married yet. So you're sleeping in different beds and things like that. Hopefully most of you. And, and he said, man, I, I'm just thinking about you while I'm laying in bed. I was thinking about you before I went to sleep. I was thinking about you when I woke up. And it's like, man, I, I just, and I had to, I'm meditating on you. And I just had to get up and pray. I just had to get up and worship. I just had to get up and, you know, open my Bible. Because that has been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings, not in thy wings, in the shadow of thy wings. I just, I just, I just need a little, you know, little touch. I'm in the shadow of your wings. I just need a crumb from the master's table. You know, just one word from God is more powerful than the lifetime of lies of the enemy. Just, just one touch from God, one moment with you, just a, just a little peek at your glory, just a little peek at your presence. And man, that's good enough for me. My soul followeth hard after thee. That's why I'm up early in the morning. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go to hell. They'll go to the lower parts of the earth. People talk about me. People attack me. People got things to say. They're going to go to the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword and they shall be a portion for the foxes. You know, the, the people talking about you, coming against you, judging you, critiquing you. Life will, life will humble them. Their time will come. God will move some things around in, in their life where they don't even got time to talk about you anymore because they got to deal with their own battles and issues. But the king shall rejoice in God, even if you're a king. Even if you're blessed, even if you're in a high position, still rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by him shall glory, but the mouth of him that speaks lies shall be stopped. I just want to encourage you this morning. Something hits differently when you get up early in the morning and you seek God. And God loves it and he honors it. You know, and so you want to go to deeper. Just understand there's levels to relationship. Just like you have relationships with people. You got, you know, associates. You got people you work with. You got people that, you know, uh, when you're married, you're intimate with. You got some people that you tell your, you know, deepest secrets to you that you just wouldn't tell to just anybody. And it comes with different levels of relationship. So there's different levels of relationship with God. 
And one of the things that he likes, and I know that he likes, is, man, you just get up early in the morning and you set that special time aside just for him. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name.